again with dictation and transcription okay uh, and again and again All those years I spent at the BBC typing up interviews manually. Now we have all of this. Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys, which, as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me who use and who write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. Do subscribe because there's so much to talk about and I just didn't 100% expect that it would ever be that I'd talk about this again. Look, I love this topic, and it is a boon to all writers, fiction, non-fiction, script writers, everything. It's just tremendous. But I thought it was done. I thought, you know, make the odd link to a previous 58 Keys episode, but it's never done. Today, I have one new dictation and transcription option to show you. Um, one, actually, that just happens to be new to me, but I really like. And I want to end with a third that actually I still think is ultimately, overall, the best for us as writers. Um, let me knock something out of the way quickly though. Yeah, you can already dictate into your iPhone, iPad, Mac or Apple Watch uh, without getting anything else, without really setting up anything at all. That's meant to be mostly for short things, text messages and like, but you, know, you can do longer emails slowly and you can make notes. Hey Iris, make a new note with idea for story. Okay, I created a note. Idea for story. Or, um, hey Iris, take a note. There was a young man from Nantucket. Okay, I created a note. There was a young man from Nantucket. These things, they go into Apple Notes and you can retrieve them uh, later. Oh, actually, hey Iris, show me my notes from today. I found two items. That was quite new to me, I like that one. I, I like it, but it's not the most practical thing when you want to dictate uh, a lot or something complicated, when you're writing an entire story through dictation, though I don't tend to do that. Uh, and crucially for me, though, that doesn't work at all with transcribing interviews. Whether it's uh, an interview that, you know, you're doing right now, live, or whether more often it's uh, audio file or video file, a recording of the interview that you're going to work on later, let me show you three things that you can use to set up. Three extras, three apps, three services that will be an immense boon to you. This is the new version of Drafts 5 and actually Drafts 5 is the reason we're talking today. Um, as it happens I write most of my articles in Drafts 5 and as well as just you know being fast and enjoyable to use it's also got enormously useful um, options, tools, actions, it calls it, uh, that are available to you at a moment. And that includes now a new transcription option. Um, I should say you could always do this in drafts. You could tap the microphone icon and start talking for as long as you like. And this is actually, technically speaking, the same as using Siri. It's the same Siri engine and mechanism, but Draft somehow rigged it so that unlike Siri, you, you don't appear to be limited to short spurts of dictation. You could just keep on talking. I presume it must be buffering what you're saying, recording it temporarily and then sending chunks off Siri a bit at a time. But right, whether I'm right or not, whatever it's doing or however it's doing it, the result has been that in drafts and drafts alone, you can just keep dictating as much as you like. It's a really clever piece of work by the developer of drafts. Now, using that same thing, you can instead drag in an existing audio or video file to have it transcribed. On the iPhone or the iPad, you can send the audio. You can share it from your whatever audio app you've got into drafts. Or you can go into drafts, tap and plus, or hold on the plus button, then choose transcribe. Um, first time you do this, by the way, you know what it's like with Apple these days. You have to confirm that you want drafts to be able to do this. Of course, you can say yes. Then you, you find and select the audio or video file. On the Mac version of drafts, you can choose the file menu and then import and, you know, then just find the audio and video file. Or you can simply drag that audio or video file onto the dock. Here's what's great. Drafts will then transcribe the entire audio or video file. I haven't found a limit on how long the audio can be, but I know there isn't a limit at all on the number of audios or videos you can chuck into it to have transcribed. I'm 
I'm sorry to say, I'm actually not clear on the price, though. There's a free version of drafts, and all signs are that it the free version includes this transcription. I can't tell for sure though because I pay for Drafts Pro, this subscription version. That's an entire $20 or about £17 in my case per year. Per year. If you only use the transcription feature it's got to be worth more than $20 a year to you. So tell you what, let's do a deal. Support the developer of Drafts with your $20 whether you technically need to or not. But wait until you hear this. Here's what's not great. The biggest thing that isn't great is accuracy. I'm not actually knocking drafts here, but I am knocking Siri dictation, the, this engine that drafts uses. I mean, it's fine. I suppose actually it's very good overall, but there are better ways. Whatever you do, you're always going to have to go through transcription yourself afterwards to correct it. It's just you will have to do that more with drafts and Siri than with certain other options, one of which we're coming to, and actually quite a lot more. And then there's this, it kind of isn't fast and is, it, it's always quicker than you and I could type out the words, and it's usually quicker than the audio recording is. The developer says, nah, not much, it won't be much faster than the audio, but this depends hugely on your device and also on your internet connection, because it's sending the stuff off across the way Siri does. I did a five minute recording, audio recording, and it took six minutes, 27 seconds to transcribe on my iPhone 13. And on my M1 Max Mac PowerBook, it took um, one minute, 40 seconds. So it's hugely device dependent. It's also internet dependent. And I don't mind that at all. I don't mind it taking six minutes, whatever. All those years, when I'm years, decades when I manually typed out every single word and wound the tape about the, uh, the the idea is it was always said that it takes three times longer to transcribe an interview to do it and I think that's very generous it was longer for me so one times it fine faster than the interview recorded great uh, also you you kind of you see the transcription happening in front of you I don't know, I can't, I just leave it really, I go off and make a cup of tea. But you can, I did check this, you can also switch to another app, either on the Mac or on the iPhone, and Drafts will carry on doing its doings. So you can work on other things, but I tend to just leave it there, letting it scroll through. I I like Drafts 5 more for transcribing existing recordings like that than for doing live ones, for example. Whereas I really like Just Press Record for live interview transcription. In fact, I, I'm not sure about this, but I don't think you can use Just Press Record to drag existing audio into it. Um, I did say I like it for live interview transcription, but actually Just Press Record is, is not the only way I record interviews, but then I never would ever record any interview with just one app on one device. Yes, long experience. In fact, I have a book about it. See the links below. Um, actually, I should also say the only the reason I, own, I even know that Just Press Record does transcription at all is I heard someone explaining how they uh, use it to dictate very long and, and complex to-do tasks or notes to-do to-do tasks into it, knowing that later they can pull out the transcription and bung it into OmniFocus or whatever their to-do app of choice is. And it's possible, actually, since I heard that, I may have done that more now with just press records, then I have interviews. But anyway, here's how you do it. Just press record. It's an iPhone and it's an Apple Watch app. So let me start the recording on the Apple Watch. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. Oh, no, um, I love, love this Jane Austen quote from her letters. Pictures of perfection, as you know, make me sick and wicked. That's now recorded on my watch, and if you and I now, I don't know, raised a mug of tea to each other, by the time we put the mugs back down, the recording would be on my iPhone. And there it is. I can play it back there, I can delete it, I suppose. I can record other things right there onto the iPhone, but I can also do, actually it's already done it, isn't it? Uh, that's my audio there, the current one highlighted in pink, and you can see on it, uh, well, that's the start of the transcription already. And if I now go into the recording there, there is the whole thing transcribed. Uh, I should say this one is fast because it's short. 
You know, I don't believe this is any faster than Drafts 5, and, and it shouldn't be, because as far as I know, it's using the same Siri engine, uh, which does very importantly mean it isn't any more accurate. Um, look at that, clear mistakes even in a short piece. But then <laughs> clear mistakes are better than unclear ones. You know, you can see that and fix it quickly enough. And in fact, you can do that by, you can select the text right there in just press record. You can send it off uh, from there to other apps and edit it there. You can add to it. I think it's actually the watch that makes this a thing. The ability to turn your wrist, tap a button, say as much as you like, and fix the transcription later. Just press record costs $5 on the App Store. And that's it. No subscription cost. Now, please look at this. Um, yeah, I might want to muck around with the punctuation a bit, I suppose. But otherwise, that is a vastly more accurate transcription than with Drafts 5 or Just Press Record or with Siri. And it always is. This is otter.ai. Now, um, I said 58 Keys has covered dictation and transcription before. First time was two years ago. Actually, which is when I can't believe this. I was still manually typing out every word. And there was this good little app called Transcription, which helped a little bit, one in the audio, but I, I don't know, haven't used it since. Uh, today, just skip forward to the end, today we're talking actually because, specifically because of the new version of Drafts 5, which has this extra transcription feature. And we're talking because of Just Press Record, uh, whose transcription feature is much older, but actually it's new to me. In between these two, though, in the second 58 keys, I infused about otter.ai, which is uh, it's an app on iOS or it's a web service on the Mac. And today I'm still going to infuse about otter.ai. Even as great and convenient as it is to be able to just drag anything into drafts whenever you like, as tremendous as it is to be able to tap a button on your Apple Watch and know that just press record will transcribe it all later, otter.ai is far better. It does cost more. Um, there's a very generous free version, so it currently allows you, I mean, I think this changes, but it currently it allows you to transcribe so many hundreds of minutes of live recordings over a month and also to upload a couple of audio video files that it does with some other limits. Then for $12.99 a month or $8.99 a month if you pay annually, you get to upload as many files as you like, and, it'll do that, and you can record much more and much longer live transcriptions. I'll tell you now, I still exploit the free version extensively. But when I know I've been booked for a lot of interviews coming up, I will subscribe for the month. Uh, you have to remember to cancel, though, as it's on you. But on, off, otter.ai. So worth it. Um, there are alternatives uh, to even these three that I recommend in different ways. Um, a little while ago, I, I'm sorry, I blanked on the name, but for good reason, Microsoft released uh, an iOS app that was supposed to transcribe both ends, or all ends, of a Teams meeting, a Teams video conference meeting. But it didn't, so, yeah. Uh, presumably it'll get better someday. Oh, maybe it has got better by now, but I don't really thoroughly see the point of trying that one again when we've got these options that actually work. That's it though for this edition of 58 Keys. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself, eh? Write more, whether that's by dictation or the old-fashioned type. Yeah, I'm a typist really. And I'll see you soon.